in Hagler's corner. Goody Petronelli, Pat Petronelli, and corner and lawyer Stephen Wainwright. So here we go. Hagler is usually a quick starter. If there's a question about Marvin, it's stamina, judging by the way he tired in the late going in his fight against Andrew Second time, Fermo. Round one. Out is underway. Round one. Minter a southpaw. Hagler a natural southpaw. You see Hagler with his own right lead, but with the ability to convert. The crowd rod as Minter scored with a quick left. is a clever boxer. He will have to be that. Hagler is a good boxer and a superior puncher with both hands. We have 55 seconds into round one. Hagler scored. Hagler scored and scored again with a short chopping right that hurt Mincher. A minute five seconds into the round. Hagler would like to make short shrift of Mitch. I must say, having covered a number of Hagler fights, I have never seen him so well conditioned. trying to keep his distance, or rather, Mincher trying to keep his distance, trying to use the right jab to keep Hagler at bay. This is first round action. Well, here, this British crowd raw with every exchange, particularly if one exchange favors Mincher. Mitchell scored there. Briefly, Mitchell appeared hurt. A minute five seconds into the round from a short chopping Hagler right. But Minner, during the last half of this round, has been boxing effectively. And there, a good left. Ten seconds to go in round one. A round that promises a good action fight. satellite from London, England. Round two just underway. Alan Mentor to the left. Marvin Hagler to the right. The first round in the early going dominated by Hagler. In the late going dominated by Mentor. As Mentor began to box more successfully. Keep Hagler off and yet score with his own jabs. This will be clearly the Minter pattern for the fight. Hagler wanting to get in to level the opponent with a superior punching power. Hagler fighting southpaw. Blood 
blood going into Minter's mouth. You saw him wipe off his nose just now with his club. Minter susceptible to cuts. Well, this one is a bloody nose. There may indeed be a cut under Minter's left arm. A minute 55 into round two. And it's a good round for Marvin Hagler. Oh, a right lead scored against Mitch. Hagler looking very, very good, very sharp. 35 seconds left in round two. Minter wants to mix it up, slug it out with Hagler, give him a little chance. Which is exactly what Minter is doing, and the crowd is responding. We are coming to the end of round two. Second down, round three. We're back live in London, England. Stanford has defeated Oklahoma in college football 31-14, but this is the middleweight championship fight, and Marvin Hagler is off to a rousing start. He had a big second round, though Mitchell is fighting back, or was determinedly. You see Hagler scoring well with his left, Remember, Hagler can fight either way, southpaw or righty. He has the ability thus to confuse an opponent if he can make it work. Sometimes a fighter gets mixed up trying to change from one stance to another. 45 seconds into round three. The mentor knows bloodied in the second round. Blood gushing forth. Again, the right lead. That's the second time. There are cuts. Under both Minter eyes now. That susceptibility to the cut that we referred to. His blood all over the left arm. Hagler is fighting his fight and making it work. The mouthpiece out. Minter's mouthpiece out. Minter is hurt. Minter is ready to go. It's only the third round and Hagler is all over. Fighting without his mouthpiece now. Mitch has not been able to make his own fight. Now, the referee, Beresan, has the corner man. The fight stop. It's over that quickly. The middleweight champion of the world is Marvin Hagler. That quickly, he fought his fight. When Mitch had tried to mix it up, he had no chance at 